Good afternoon, fellow realtors. It's Greg Fisk, broker and owner of JPAR Maryland Living. Wanted to uh, share something with you guys. I believe that Maryland Realtors will be doing um, supplemental training on it as well. So you can check out the uh, their YouTube page. Uh, they have YouTube channel has a lot of great uh, training snippets and videos from James and Kathleen and, and the group over at Maryland Realtors. But when we roll out the, the new forms in October, um, I don't believe this was part of the educational piece and packet that they sent out as well. So we just wanted to share this with you guys, make sure um, as agents and realtors, we were all on the same page. Um, it's the property inspection addendum. If you scroll down to, and we're big fans of kind of the new addendum and, and how the as is is rolled up in, into that process. I think it'll be a little bit uh, clearer process moving forward. And we're, we're super happy for that and the forms committee over there at Maryland Realtors. But if you get down to um, uh, paragraph B, inspection process, and it's, and it's very similar to how it was before the initial seller's response. You have five days to respond, get your quotes together, two days on the buyer to respond to that response, two days back on the um, seller to uh, respond to the um, buyer's response. But then you get to the uh, portion, let me move my screen here, uh, subparagraph four, additional negotiations. So thereafter, within two days after delivery of the counteroffer regarding the requested repairs and or seller credit, the receiving party must, you have A, deliver notice of accepting terms contained in the immediate preceding counteroffer or deliver notice continuing negotiations by making a further counteroffer. So these kind of counteroffers can go back and forth and back and forth. Or C, deliver notice of termination of the contract of sale to the other party. Now, this little this little paragraph within a subparagraph here, the failure of the receiving party to timely respond to the counteroffer shall constitute their automatic acceptance of that counteroffer with all the terms of the contract of sale remaining in full force and effect. Now, this is sort of kind of a paradigm shift on how these negotiations always take place or have historically taken place where, um, you know, a no response was uh, or no response was kind of a passive aggressive no response. And at the end of those, you know, time is of the essence at the end of that two days or the five days or whatever it might be. Um, if the other party had not um, responded, it was basically them saying no to the counter offer and they're standing firm on what their original um, offer was. So in this additional negotiations, we have a couple things to point out of note here. Um, the failure of the rece receiving party to timely respond, exactly what timely respond means. Um, again, these are two-day increments uh, on top of the five-day, two-day, two-day of the initial inspection seller's response. But the big thing is failure, um, failing to respond to any counteroffer shall constitute their automatic acceptance of that counteroffer. So now, as opposed to it being a, a passive aggressive no, a no response is basically acceptance of the counteroffer, that term. So it's, a, it's you know, it's kind of like I said, a paradigm shift in the way things have usually been um, conducted with these negotiations. So please be careful and cognizant of that and mindful when you're in the negotiations. And the two days, you know, especially with holidays or weekends, um, it's not a lot of time. So hopefully nothing gets lost in translations. And remember, when you're delivering notice to the agent and you're, you're, you're an agent of the buyer or seller, that is like um, delivering the actual counter offer to the buyer or seller themselves. So if an email goes out at 10 o'clock at night, day one is the the following day, day, you know, if you say so you send something out Friday night at uh, 10 PM, Saturday's day one, Sunday's day two. So again, um, just be mindful of the fact that this, if you're involved in the additional negotiations with a property inspection and you've gone back and forth several times and you're on this provision, the additional negotiation provision, um, a failure to respond constitutes their automatic acceptance of that counteroffer. Okay. So if you have any questions, you know, reach out to your broker and or uh, Maryland Realtor Legal uh, Hotline on this, but uh, just wanted to make sure that we shared that with everybody and we're all on the same page. So hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, if you have any questions uh, for us or our office, give us a call 410-260-0202. Take care.